in concussions, we are female brain injury, including concussion from sports, domestic violence, accidents, and military service. Tad Seifert from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm the director of Norton Healthcare's Sports Concussion Program and also a neurologist uh, with the Norton Neuroscience Institute. My talk was primarily discussing the relationship between concussion and migraine. Uh, number one, that migraine seems to be a risk factor for concussion and to flip that on its head, that concussion seems to be a risk factor then subsequently for the development of migraine and not only those two key points, but also the fact that migraine in and of itself also seems to be a risk factor for a prolonged recovery after the injury of concussion has occurred. I really enjoyed, uh, not so much the paper, but I enjoyed Dr. Luddy's uh, presentation discussing you know, how the autonomic nervous system, how there's definitely some dysfunction within the autonomic nervous system in individuals that are uh, concussed. And you know, in my population, especially where the majority of my outpatient population anymore is sport-related concussion, so that really factors even more into the athlete, where often that, that autonomic nervous system dysfunction and the symptoms that go along with that can be the rate-limiting step in an athlete ultimately returning to play. Well, the Pink Concussion Symposium, I've known Catherine now probably about three to four years. And I, I was involved with the first uh, in Georgetown. Mm -hmm. I was involved remotely uh, with the one last year in Palo Alto. And now yeah. to be here again on site in New Orleans, it's huge. I have tremendous respect for what she's been able to accomplish uh, for her enthusiasm and fervor for the topic. Um, I'm just I'm honored and, and humbled to be a partner with her uh, you know, along this journey.